evangelist, stand up, shout, jump around a little bit, do something I can't do. Hallelujah! Glory, 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 glory! Oh, I ain't heard you worship God yet. Hallelujah! Amen. I shout more than that if the bulldogs lose. Surely you can shout for the one that's going to win. Jesus! Hallelujah! Amen. Come on, Brother Willie. Wake us up over there. We're about to go to sleep. Amen. Isn't it good to have Brother Willie down here with us all the way from KY, Kentucky? Brother Willie called me up a couple of weeks ago and me and Brother George Pike, we was working on Mama's bathroom. She wanted her a brand new bathroom and that meant I had to go to work and I didn't like that part. So I got all the way down to putting some tile down. I had to call Brother George over there and my phone went off and I looked at it and it said 270 zip code or whatever the area code. And I said, my Lord, I said, I don't know if I would answer that or not. It might be somebody wanting money. <laughs> it was Brother Willie. He said, I'm going to be at your place. I said, wait one week and you can be with us in camp meeting. So we're glad to have Brother Willie all the way down from Kentucky.
That's it. Exactly right. Yeah. That's right. That's right.
And people wants to add to it. They want to take from it. Yep. It's a serious thing. Right. Hallelujah. Well, it's this way. Well, it's this way. It's that way. There ain't but one Lord, one faith, one spirit, one baptism. You know what the whole main purpose of God's plan was? To make heaven. Come on. Colossians 1.26. Christ in you. The Holy Glory. The Holy Glory. Love the Lord. Well, the world was even made. That's right. Paul said in Ephesians, he gets the revelation, he gets the, the revelation there in Ephesians 4 there. He said it was God above us. Uh, hallelujah. God with us. Yes. God, God in us. Hey. Glory to God. Hey. He got a That's it. I had to do.
with me. Yes. Eight years old, I was a drunk. And they'd give me all that wine and stuff. And, uh, but I knew God was dealing with me. Yes. Then. But there was a point in time. I was high on dope and drinking in New Orleans, Indiana, up in a bar. And uh, I remember in the back of my mind, I was saying, God, don't let me go out like this. Come on. Come on. See, I didn't know predestination. And I didn't know the plan of God. I didn't know that God had other thing in his hand at that time. Glory to God. But I remember getting home. And those times I don't remember how I got home. And I got home and two weeks later I was sober as a jug. Sober. <coughs> and then my wife was laying there and I said, Daddy, let's at least pray. Yes. I didn't know how to pray. I didn't know what was to pray. But I took her by the hand. We just said a few words. And she went to sleep. But I wasn't satisfied. And I was miserable. And I, I, I was tired living with a hangover. Sick after a week on that whiskey. I was tired. I got way below the bottom. Right. Understand? Way below the bottom. I wasn't satisfied. Sing that, Mama. I try, my, I try my best to keep my mind. I'm either listening to CDs at night, New Testament, Old Testament, 
and turn people and drive those demons and those devils and keep them away. Right. Because the word of God will do it. Amen. Yeah. And so I woke up this morning with my own self him. Amen. That's it.
Hallelujah. Oh, that was almost good. Don't look like you going to work Monday's all I got to say. Hey, man. You want to testify? Sure has been good to have you here with us. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to take just a moment to thank Brother Rule for bringing all this clan. He's got brothers, he's got sons, he's got daughters, he's got wife, he's got sister in laws, he's got sisters. And I don't know who all else he's got, but he grabbed them. I didn't know a man could put up with so much, but he is a man. Huh? He proved that he's a man. He said, Y'all come on, you don't bother me. Even last night when I was leaving, he said, If you need anything, call me. If he didn't have enough to worry about. So I do appreciate Brother Roy. Would you like to say something? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I know one thing. He got old Adam straightened out. He took my nephew down there and he won't turn him loose and let him come home. But the boy learned how to grow a beard. <laughs> He learned how to take my guitars and take them back home. He picks up any instrument he wants to and he plays. And Rule said he don't know how to work on nothing, so he keeps buying more tractor and trailers for Adam to learn how to do something. Amen. I don't think one can live without the other one no more. They just, they just thick. Brother Jerry back there, he's got his family with him, and I do appreciate him coming. I want Brother Jerry to come up here and testify for just a moment, and then I'm going to get him to say the blessing over the food down there today. But Praise God, food. This man, he's like Brother Greg. Every time he turns around, somebody's trying to kill him off. <laughs> but he refuses to die. If you saw all of his family, you know why he can't die. He got too many of them. He got to keep them going. They wouldn't work without him. <laughs> but I noticed one thing. He got one son back there when you were singing that song. That's why I had you sing it again. I don't guess I ever seen that boy jump up and down like that. He was getting excited back there. And I, well, that's why I had you sing that song again. I want to see him jump a little bit more. Brother Jerry, just testify. Hey, praise the Lord. It's good to be with y'all. You know, we had a preacher last night. He took all the limits off God for you. All you got to do is just receive what he said. You had Brother White, he brought heaven down to earth for you this morning. How much more could you ask for? Brother Willie, he brought repentance. He brought your fellow man to you. No, don't judge him before his time is what he said. You've had everything opened up to you just in three services. Three men spoke to you. God has given you everything you could ever possibly need. All you got to do is accept it. He's a great God. He won't withhold anything from you. He'll bless you in your goings in and your comings out. It don't make no difference what it is. I thank God for the opportunity just to be able to testify that my God is a great God. And he's there for you anytime you need him. Anytime you, anywhere you go, no matter what it is, in your lowest moments, in your highest peaks, he's still there. He's God forevermore. I could, I could tell you a lot of things this morning. I could give you a lot of different testimonies. But you've been here a long time already this morning. So I'm just going to bless the meal just like, just like the man asked. 
and we'll be dismissed, I guess. Amen. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to stand before your people, the greatest people on the face of the earth, Lord, because you chose them. They didn't choose you. They, you chose them. God, we ask you to go with them this morning as they leave the building, prospering and blessing them, meeting every need that they need. God, blessing the food that they're going to receive, blessing the people that prepared it. Bless the hands, Lord, that have been making everything just like it is today because you made it possible for them. God, but we give you the glory for everything that's said and done. All that we can ever accomplish in this life, no matter who we are or where we're going, Lord, we give you the glory for it because we know, God, it's all because of you. And we ask it in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. Amen. Just go on downstairs, have yourself a blast, a fun day, keep your mind on God. Come back tonight and bring those shouting shoes, please. We're going to wear the shouting shoes tonight. Amen.